Tyrannosaurus Rex, the perfect apex. If God made anything in his image, it was this colossal of a monster. Here we go. But the journey doesn't start at the top of the food chain, no. We gotta go back, way back. Suppose I should try and get some food. No, I don't even need food and water. Of course I don't. I just need to find a good spot to sit down and start growing. That's all I really need to do. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I know where I am too, I'm down at the swamp. Ah, should be I took cover under some pine trees, just up the hill from the swamp, and I'd stay there for at least 20 minutes and not expose myself to the world until I was starving. Perfect. There was a light pattern of footsteps in the distance, so I went to investigate. A juvenile Allosaurus was scouting out some AI nearby. I jumped him, but I was rusty at the game and he outplayed me. He left me bleeding and scarred and I'd have to bail. I need to get out of there, god damn. After picking a fight with the wrong player and just escaping with my life, sitting under a tree and bleeding to death, I was ready to grow. I almost got killed by that little aloe. <laughs> I was now a fresh sub-adult. More than two hours of growth time has passed. I'm gonna go and get a drink. Okay, hopefully I don't get killed. Time to go back to growing under a tree. 93% growing. I could just hunt AI and be safe, but I'm strong enough now to literally hunt like an aloe or something. See, sub-adult Rex is like quite powerful and fast. I just finished filling up on water down at the swamp, and that's when I noticed sub-adult Giganotosaurus. And with an albino skin like that, survival is not going to be easy. He was hunting an Avaceratops, a spawned AI, and to show himself in broad daylight with such a skin, he must have been unpleasantly hungry, because coming out of hiding after three hours of growth is such a risk. a big sub. I got caught in multiple wormholes, lag with inside the game. This completely destroyed my open. This would leave me having to adapt. <laughs> he is, he's a big sub. Very big sub. He was in crouch, ready to ambush. <laughs> he looks like he's almost ready to grow. Here we go. Got him, got him. Oh, that brake check lined up just at the right spot. And then, yeah, it was just, I had more bite force. Just, just. <laughs> I was victorious, but I was hurt with three drops of bleed on me. I was gonna be there for a while. I'm not even gonna lie, my heart's racing. I'm so glad I'm not dead. <laughs> I so did not want to lose this Rex. What's the bleed? 6.4 bleed. I'm gonna eat some real quickly. It should be alright because I'm standing still, so. Because my stomach was low, I wanted to fill it up so I could actually heal faster. 3.9 bleed. Where is the water? Pretty sure it's just down there. I'd been there for the entire night and was starting to dehydrate quite badly. But almost at the perfect timing, the body disappeared. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Oh! There goes the body. Perfect timing because I'm thirsty, 98% growth. Though. The next day when the sun was up, I was ready to grow into the adult phase. And we are adult. We made it, but now we're quite vulnerable. We need to get to adult adult, if you know what I mean. Our growth is still a long way away. So, I should be right for a bit though. Where the heck is everything, man? I haven't seen anything in ages. Let's see if any replies. Hmm. 
many people are on? 104. Oh, I made good distance around the map during the night, hunting, but was unsuccessful and found nothing. Two years ago, them Dilo in the night. Goddamn oh, Dilos. Gonna start sneaking around. I was now well and truly below 50% in hunger. I was getting hungry, and there was no AI appearing anywhere. Hmm, two of them. A pair of Rexes in the distance. They're pretty far away, but still. As I got close to the small pond, I seen something in the bushes moving. My natural instincts kicked in, and I ambushed. Cool. I needed that so badly. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I was way too hungry. I would have much preferred the bigger one, but he was out of range. I wouldn't try it. After I finished eating the body, I filled up in water and then moved on from the area. Hello, hello, hello. With only one goal in mind, to survive. And in order to become a good survivalist, you must become a good hunter. Hunting is a scientific murder, and not to be mistaken for an even fight. So when I came across a family of Sukuminuses, who were far from the water, inland and making a great deal of noise, it was only a matter of time. Come down this way. Come on. Come down this way, guys. Come down this way. Oh. Here's some other heavy footsteps. Here we go, they're coming this way. Here we go. I killed them both, unfortunately. It was dark, and I wasn't sure if I landed bites on one. It's no excuse, but they both died. The small, Sukuminus, would now have to follow his natural instincts, so I didn't blame him when he ate from his deceased parents. And I did just take your parents from you. One minute he was there, and just like that, in the next, he was gone. Cool. I had to log out because of an emergency, but a small Rex heard my broadcast and I passed on the body. Hey mum, I'll be there in a second, I just couldn't actually leave for a minute, so. Later on I logged back in, and with an elevated temperature I was ready for the next hunt. Really should be in a group. It's kind of a mistake walking around solo, but we are where we are. Just casually stalking. I broke my way through the tree line to get a better line of sight. There was a Ceratosaurus sitting next to the remains of his last victory. I moved across the field and planted myself under a pine tree. It was getting dark and the storm was moving in. Utah Raptor. A Utah Raptor went for some food. Food that I didn't even know was there. My peanut sized brain kicked in and I went for it. <laughs> He was a slippery Utah and played well, landed quite a few bites, but if you ever get in any trouble and all the basics fail, such as the brake checks, then just use the terrain to your advantage. <laughs> GG Utah, definitely landed a few bites. After I finished up the body, I moved back into the woods, for the night would now close in on us. How long have I got to go? A few hours, a few hours. This map is just too dangerous at night time to be wandering around. And I heard some dialogues, so there's that. The following morning, an Allosaurus would be getting ready for his morning breakfast. His pack had just killed some AI. Uh. 
don't know how that first bite missed. I've got my stamina back. Let's have a feed. The world is a cruel place. Because I was hungry, it took me less than 30 seconds to eat his entire body. And it took him more than three hours to grow. I moved on like it was just a natural event. I might go up the top up there to those rocks and see if I can find anything. Not long after though, everything would change. My heart started to beat a little bit faster. I was now face to face with another solo, but fully grown, Rex. <laughs> Stand off between two Rexes. It is a big, you know, big risk. Both parties. He was thinking the same as me. In the tree lines next to a small pond, I waited. There's an aloe there. So, tough times. I think he only just seen me like at the last second. <laughs> yeah, rest in peace, my friend. Rest in peace. Next to the cliff behind the tree lines in the dense of the forest, it's there I'd eat the entire body once again. Alright, let's get a drink. The sun was falling as I stood there, drinking, filling up for the afternoon. That night I AFK'd under some trees and didn't come out until the next day. Here we go. Let's track this big bad boy down. Just ahead of me in the thick of the scrubs, somewhere, there was a trike. He was talking and making way too much noise. There it is. Sniffing. He was only a small thing, a sub -adult. Mm, They both died. Sorry guys. Poor little trike. I think he was like a fresh sub. What are you doing mixing with a carnivore, my friend? Alright, I'll tell it is. It's a game of survival. I ain't gonna hide it. To my surprise, he had a lot of meat on him and took the entire day to eat. Let's eat the little one too. Cool, a little bit left on that one. Might as well stick around till daylight anyway. The next day I was roaming, looking for my next hunt, and that's when I heard a Spinosaurus. Now that's a Spino. I could do with a Spino. Where's all the Spinos? One second they're making all the noise in the world. Next. Here we go. A fully grown Spinosaurus was nesting in other players. I tiptoed my way around him. Hang on, he's standing right there. I waited. I was patient. This could work out. And finally, with his guard down thinking he was on top of the world, the time had come. Here we go. GG mate, GG. I sat down as soon as possible to begin to recover. His baby Spinosaurus starbursted into the woods and would now be left to defend for himself as a solo. His little, his little friend will now be an orphan unfortunately, but <laughs> that's the way it is. I do need to sit down. No, I need to quickly eat a little bit so I heal faster. 
Alright, sit down. Sit down, sit down. Because that was ticking. Yep, fill right up. Go. Cool. That way I heal absolutely fast. Or as fast as possible, anyway. How am I doing in water? Oh, plenty. Nice. Excellent, excellent. Where is there water around here? I'm starting to get a little lower. I'd been here for a while and was starting to get concerned. My water was getting desperately low. I was dehydrating. Mm, if that drops to 15%, I'm going for the water. Body or not. I'll try to get back to the body, of course, but... I'm not exactly sure where I am, like... <laughs> I couldn't know what idea. If it was daytime, this would be much easier. Oh, hang on. There goes the body. Cool. I'm all good then. Nice. I can go for the water. Ooh, I was starting to sweat a bit, not gonna lie. Almost daylight. Okay, let's go out and have a look. Let's see what we can see. A pair of Utah Raptors was resting next to a small pond, completely oblivious to the incoming danger. In a single bite, they both died in each other's arms. They were so stacked, it was not even funny. <laughs> What is the time you're going? 7 a.m. Yeah, right. I'm not even gonna lie, I was like, that ain't my fault. That ain't my fault at all. <laughs> there goes one. Alright, my little friend, you are all but at his left. After I consumed both the bodies, I prepared myself for another day and made way. Thank you for your service. You provided me with the perfect breakfast for the day. It's almost pitch black already. What's the time? 17.45, goddamn. Alright, how am I doing on water and food? Perfect, I can last the whole night. I'm gonna plump myself right here. After being AFK for the entire night, I was extremely hungry, and now it was time to hunt some spawned AI. I spent most of the day roaming around looking for my next hunt. And for the most part, I was unsuccessful. Goddamn, gonna be night time soon. Oh, perfect. Hello. Nope, Giga. Full grown one. Not even close to full growing. Just a just a sub adult. Perfect size meal though. Mmm, that's gotta hurt though. I can imagine the pain. I really, really can. I bet I'll eat his whole body in one go. I was just that hungry. And again, a sub giga provides a lot more meat than a adult Allosaurus. Actually, goddamn, he had a lot of meat on him. <laughs> I'm still eating. Yeah. No, awesome. I'll need that to get through the night safely anyway. So if some dollars come along, I'll have some protection. Oh, there goes the body. Oh, hello. It's looking right at me. Acro. Dilos too. Yeah, there's a lot of dilos here. I was slowly being surrounded, so I turned the global chat off so I could concentrate on the task at hand. There was two fully growing acros, a bunch of mid-tiers and maybe some smalls. Something sitting just there. I fell for a juke. They managed to get some more stamina out of me. I retreated back to the woods. Uh, what else is around? We got a whole, whole bunch of mixed packets. That's cool. The server does allow it. I've noticed that.
<laughs> that was that was close. I got a little scout right there. Yeah, well, there's heaps of them. I've used stuff too much of my stamina. <laughs> I swapped targets knowing one was already disabled. I failed to break the legs on the second one, so I turned around with one plan to put an end game to the original. Where is he? Things started to get heated up. But a body was down, so it was time to play by the rules. Eventually, both parties settled down, and the fight was over. I sat down and began to heal. As for the Acro and his remaining friends, they went their own separate way. The server was restarting in four minutes, so it was time to get ready to safe log. And hopefully you guys enjoy the video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. And this is the end to another epic tale. This is your boy Al. I'm out.